Okay, so I'm not going to do no fancy intro for this. I'm just going to jump straight into it and I'm about to tell you what I'm doing. Right now, I'm making my wig smaller because it was too big and my head is small. So I had to customize for my liking. So I used Nair and I left it in for about three minutes. And right now, I'm pulling the hair out. You can also do this when your lace is messed up and you need like fresh lace. Like just put like probably an inch of hair, take an inch of hair out so you can have that lace so you can start over. Like you can do it on your frontals, you can do it on your closures. But yeah, I mean it's pointless just to throw a closure away or a frontal away because of the the front of it when you can just start all over. But anyway. So I pulled it out. The first pull didn't work. So now I'm going back in and pulling it all the way out. This is just a review. So that's what it looked like. And after I washed it and everything, and you know, that's how it looks. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pluck that out, those little hairs out, because sometimes you can leave that if you don't pull it good enough. But you want to make sure you put that nair on the root and kind of like pull the hair out of the way that you don't want to get touched or it's going to come out with it. So, yeah, right now I'm doing the area where my sideburns are. For some reason, I have like extremely long sideburns, so I have to customize that area, too. So, yeah, don't worry about the little hairs when you pull it out and you didn't pull it out where it looks like baby hairs thick baby hairs because you can always go back with um some uh what did you call it the 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 tweezers jesus the tweezers you can always go back with the tweezers and pluck that out and it's gonna come right out so yeah i'm just you know pulling out what i can and go to the other side You want to put a little pressure, a little force behind that pull. It's not going to do anything to your lace. Okay, so this is what I was talking about when I was talking about those little thick baby hairs. You can plug those out and they're just going to come right on out. It's really time consuming. But once you get the hang of it and you know what you're going for, it'll come. Okay, so now I'm going to move to the other side. I'm just trying to get those baby hairs out of the way so that I can do what I really need to do. And like, you know, slay this hairline. But, yeah, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm going to be here forever. So, of course, I'm just, like, customizing the hairline and getting the wig ready to be placed on my head. I'm not going to do everything in one night. So, y'all might see the other video of me um bleaching the hair because I want to bleach it and tone it and make it real pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to wear it for a little bit naturally. And then I might go in and color it and stuff like that. But right now, I'm just, you know, trying to make it look like something. Because that blunt, long, like, really? Trying to make sure this line is is good. This hairline is good. Y'all only got frustrated. But yeah. Like for real?
Okay, as y'all can see, them little hairs is just falling right out. Yeah, simple. That's the best way to get the hair out instead of plucking it and risking and ripping your lace and doing all of that. But you see, it's just coming out easily. Like, it's not like hard to get it out. Nobody just or go home. Right you just have to set aside a day and actually go <laughs> make for no it. sense for people to not like people know like that. But anyways, um, yeah, so my I'm bad, y'all. That was not part of this video, but it's going so to I have to be because I am not recording it. So yeah, ignore it and check me out. Just like me. So it seemed like I've I've been spending most of my time trying to get this plucking right. Okay. Goodness. Okay, so when you're done, you want to bleach it. Bleach your knots, which is what I'm doing here. You want to make sure the bleach is thick or you will over bleach your knots like I did here. But it works out okay. because it blends so well with my skin. So I flat ironed it, styled it a little bit, and this is my results. This is how it looks on the mannequin head, and I'm going to put it on so I can show you guys what it looks like on my head. I may go back in and pluck some more. I'm not sure yet. I just want to make sure it looks as natural as possible. I'm going to post a video next, and I want you to tell me what you think.